waiting for that lucky ticket number 86070, 86070 for the dinner for four from the Homestead Restaurant as we get ready to bring you our parade lap of the vehicle. Thank you. 
right now, as you probably know, if you went to the party the other night, we had a rather unique thing where an auction was held and you could buy or bid on your favorite driver. And the fastest qualifier tonight was bought, so to speak, by his dad, Bob Charters. So it was $726 taken in on the auction. You divide that by four because each one get 25% of it. And if Perry wins, you'll pick up another 181.50 as well as you, you old happy birthday devil yourself, Bobby. So please accept $181.50. And let's hear it for the folks. This was the high bidder on this gentleman, and he came in as our top qualifier. So congratulations, gentlemen. And happy birthday, Robert. You won't tell us how many years, will you? Uh, 22. 22. Uh, metrically, how much is that? No, that's about 71. Yeah, that looks good on you. <laughs> the winner of the Sumner Engine Repair Kit. Nice prize there for Mike Zanye. Got lots of prizes still to come, so be holding on to your ticket stubs. This is a 15-lap qualifying heat. Pond in the 87 car and 55 Dave Mullins as he gets a little squirrely coming out of turn two and he's okay and it's the man they're chasing now is 87 Donnie Pond as they come out of turn four down the front stretch and it's Donnie Pond, Dave Mullins and Kenny Crossway remember the top three cars of each of these heats will be moving on into the first of the twin 100s Donnie Pond, now 55, Dave Marlins up knocking on the back door as they come out of turn two and down the back chute, followed by 66, Kenny Crossways in the middle of that pack. Now number five, Mike Arsenal moving into that four spot in front of 78, Adam Pond. Down the front chute to go one more time, and it's door knocking time, and 55, Dave Marlins is right up there, trying to give 87, Donnie Pond the chrome massage as they come out of turn two. Seven, Donnie Five, 55, Dave Mullins, here in this first of the 
qualifying 15 lap heats. Down the back stretch, it's still 87, Donnie Farr. Now, 55, Dave Bowers looks to the outside. Let's see how much room is up there. We know there's not much. 87, Donnie Farr, and 55, Mullins up on the outside door now, followed by 66, Kenny Crossway to number five, Mike Arsenal. Two groups of two, and it's now 55, Dave Mullins on the outside. He drifts a little bit going into three as he comes out of four. Who's going to be in the lead? It's 55, Dave Mullins at the strike. 87, Donnie Bond gave him the outside line, and that's the tough one, but Mullins used it. As you see him with that half-car lead as they go back into number three. Now Mullins going to try and close the door as they come out of four. 87, Pond coming back up on the inside as they go into turn one. It's 55, Dave Mullins with the clean pass. Followed by 87, Donnie Pond, and 66, Kenny Crossway. Number five, Mike Arsenal, 78, Adam Pond. They're coming to the halfway mark of this time around. And it's 55. Dave Mullins, 87, Donnie Pond, Kenny Crossway to Mike Arsenal. And Adam Pond in the 78 car. Number 10 is Chris Bryant. And Donnie 4 is Winnie Burnham. Lane is stretched out now to the space out, and it's 55, Dave Mullins, and 87, Donnie Bond, five car lengths behind. Kenny Crossway to Mike Arsenal trying to battle for that third qualifying spot as they go out of turn two. They get a little cozy against that far wall. That's your action to watch right now between the 66 car with five laps to go and number five, Mike Arsenal. That is the qualifying spot that they're all trying for to be in that top three of these heats. Fifty-five, Dave Mullins still opened up that big lead and hold on to it in front of Johnny Pond running in second in the 87 car. But the battle is for the third qualifying spot between 66. Kenny Crossway then number five, Mike Arsenal. Arsenal moves up on the inside as Crossway's opened up that door just a little bit. And you saw the action in there as they swapped just more than a little bit of paint. Here comes your leader out of turn four. Two laps to go for 55, Dave Mullins. 87, Donnie Pond. And 66 now, Kenny Crossway with a three car lead, make that two car lead over number five, Mike Arsenal in that final qualifying spot in this heat. Dave Mullins takes the white flag, one lap to go, as he moves around number 94, Winnie Burnham coming out of turn two and down the back stretch. 87, Donnie Pond still in second. And in third, it looks like it's going to be 66, Kenny Crossway. And in fourth, number five, Mike Arsenal. Then the 78 car of Adam Pond, number 10, Chris Bryant, and number 94, Winnie Burnham. The number 55 car, Dave Mullins, one of the regulars here at River Glade Speedway, is sponsored by Mullins Excavating, DW Carter Electric, and Regional Construction. And they come around for the checker flag, and they turn loose here in the front stretch. 14, LCB to 21, Don Biederman driving the Johnny Comfort car in 85, Ken McKenzie. Round off the top three as they go into turn three. Biederman drifts up there, LCB Biederman goes right back up on the inside. They get cozy coming out of four down the front stretch. LCB Biederman on the inside, Don Biederman on the outside. And Biederman in there trying to keep the ribs up coming out of that high slot. Let's see what he does going back into turn three. Trying to make the move down, but that door isn't open. And let's see what happens. He takes over the lead coming out of four. The number 21 car, Don Biederman. Number 14, L.C. Beeman in second, followed by 85, Ken McKenzie, and 25, Ian Mullins. Now Mullins trying to make a move on the outside of McKenzie. These are 15 lap heats, folks. And they are very important. The three cars, the top three cars from each heat. Automatically move up into the first 100. 
21, Don Biederman, 14, Elsie Beeman, 85, Ken McKenzie, 25. And Mullis, number 50, Danny Duke now moving up in there in 33, Fitz McCormick. They're all very close down the front stretch. What a train. If anybody burps, we're going to see a choo-choo go boom boom. And it's number 21, Don Biederman with the lead. 14, L.C. Beeman trying to make a move on the inside at 85. Ken McKenzie looks at that outside line as they get on the front stretch. Trying to keep your foot in and on the brake at the same time gets a little dicey at a turn two because it's a little slick out there because of the damp conditions and the high humidity. 21, Don Peterman now starting to open up just a little bit more real estate. At 85, Ken McKenzie makes the pass on his on L.C. Beeman to take over second. Coming with him is 25, Ian Mullen. That shovels number 14, L.C. Beeman back into fourth, and now he's got his hand full with number 50, Danny Duke. 21, Don Peterman, 85, Ken McKenzie. It looks like number 50, Danny Duke, has lost the left front tire as they went into turn one, and he has to pull off to the infield. They're coming to the halfway mark, and this is a good one. It's 21, Don Bitterman, 85, Ken McKenzie, and 25, Ian Mullins. 14, Elsie Beeman, and 33, Vince McCormick. And Vince is still wrestling that car since so just crashed with the wall here earlier this afternoon in Hot Lap. Here comes that three-car train, and you can cover them with a blanket. 21, Don Bitterman, 85, Ken McKenzie, and they're lucky, 25, Ian Mullins. Only a car left separating those front three cars. Look at that right up there. A little bit of a chrome massage as it comes out of turn four. And still 21 with five laps to go. Don Peterman. Ken McKenzie and Ian Mullins as they come out of turn two down the back stretch. Let's see if anybody's going to try and make a move to the inside. Peterman keeps that door closed. The old pro knows his way around many racetracks. But if Ken McKenzie looking to the inside. Don Biederman gives up that position coming out of turn two as he wrestling with now Ian Mullins to try and hold on to that second spot but he gets shuffled back on the outside. 85 Ken McKenzie and 25 Ian Mullins and 21 Don Biederman. These front three cars are going to be qualifying in this heat if that situation stays the same. 85, Ken McKenzie, 25, Ian Mullins, 21, Don Peterman, then L.C. Beeman, and Vince McCormick with less than two laps to go. the checkered flag in front of Ian Mullins and Don Peterman, followed by L.C. Beeman at 33, Vince McCormick. 85 car, Ken McKenzie, Brown, number 7, Bob Charters, 93, Gary McLean, 42, is Steve Rogers, and number 99 car, Paul Jorgensen, and number 40, Billy McLean. Looks like number 4, Daryl Nicholson, still having his problems. <laughs> 15 lap qualifying heat, heat number three. And the green flag is out as they take it down to turn one. Still side by side action out there is number two, Danny Brown, trying to keep his nose out in front of Bob Charters. And the seven cars are going to turn three. Out of turn four, and it's still number two, Danny Brown. 42, Steve Rogers on the outside in second. Number seven, Bobby Charters, as they stretch it up going down the back stretch. Down the front 
stretch one more time, meaning the, the train into turn number one is number two, Danny Brown, followed by number seven, Bob Charters, 42, Steve Rogers, front three cars breaking away from the rest of the field, followed by 93, Gary McLean, 42, Billy McLean, as the two brothers go at it, coming out of turn four, and bringing up the caboose, number 99, Paul Jorgensen. We have the hosties munchies up here. We'll be shaved. Number two, Danny Brown, now with a three-car lead on number seven, Bobby Charters, as they come down the back stretch, followed by Steve Rogers. Number 40, Billy McLean in the high note there, running in fourth, followed by 93. Gary McLean at number 99, Paul Jorgensen. Gets a little more bunched up as they come out of turn number four. That battle for second is starting to shape up as they're still chasing the, the leader, number two, Danny Brown, Bob Charter, Steve Rogers, and Billy McLean battling now for third as they go back into turns three and four. Down the front shoot to come one more time. They're still chasing number two, Danny Brown. Number seven, Bobby Charters keeps that inside line all to himself. As again, number 40, Billy McLean comes up knocking on the door of 42, Steve Rogers. Two laps to go, make that halfway, as you say, this time around. Get a little anxious. Yeah. At the half, it's still number two, Danny Brown, number seven, Bobby Chargers, 42, Steve Rogers. Number 40, Billy McLean, looks like he's lost the tire going out of turn one. Limping back to the pit area. Looks something definitely went wrong with the 40 car as number two Danny Brown continues to lead with number seven Bobby Charters of 42. Steve Rogers now is looking like they have those three qualifying positions locked up with five laps to go this time around. leader number two, Danny Brown. Still holds that three-car leader, number seven, Bob Turner. And Bobby Turner has got his hands full with number 42, Stevie Rogers. And then it's 99, Paul Jorgensen now getting by 93, Gary McLean coming out of turn two. About three laps to go now for number two, Danny Brown. Rumor still has it that he may not be driving that car in the 100s as he is got an ailing back, so he's trying to qualify the car as well as he can. Two laps to go this time around for number two, Danny Brown, seven, Bob Chargers, and 42, Steve Rogers. 99, Paul Jorgensen, and 93 is Gary McLean driving the Philly Bear car. White flag gets ready to come out with one lap to go this time around for number two, Danny Brown. Second spot is number seven, Bob Charters, 42. Steve Rogers in third. That's the way they would qualify from this heat. Paul Jorgensen in number 93, Gary McLean, running fourth and fifth. And the checkered flag is up for number two, Danny Brown, followed by seven, Bob Charters, 42. Steve Rogers, 99, Paul Jorgensen in 93, Gary McLean, the number Nice hand for folks, number two in the Monte Carlo, Danny Brown. Steve, can you hear me? Steve, four. In lap one, they bought off for turn number two, and it's going to be Lloyd Garnett holding a half a car lead on the rest of the field as they head for turn three. Earl Green trying to keep that 70 car low on the inside as 62 Paul Lewis moves up on the outside. They battle for second spot back into turn one. Front three 
Kerr's now trying to break away, and it's 0-2. Lloyd Dernett, number 70, Carl Green, and 62, Paul Lewis, as they come out of turn four. Only on the fourth spot is number 30, Aaron Lewis, 0-9, Todd Turner, 59, Doug Hill. Bounds off the top six as they go down the back stretch. Here comes the leader of the back out of turn number two. It's still 0-2. Lloyd Turner as they come down the front stretch out of turn four. The number 70 car running in second spot is Carl Green at a tour in Nova Scotia, followed by 62, Paul Lewis. Turn two and down the back stretch, still led by 0 2. Lloyd Garnett, Carl Green, Paul Lewis, Aaron Lewis, and Todd Turner. Your front five. Up there, really close as they come out of turn four. The long train down the front stretch. Zero two. Lloyd Garnett holds on to that one car lead. He seems to reel him in a little bit in the turns, but he powers his way down those straight stretches. Front stretch, 0-2, Lloyd Garnett still leads. They're in the fourth qualifying heat, followed by Carl Green and Paul Lewis. 0-9, Todd Turner and number 30, Aaron Lewis in the battle in that fourth place. As they come to the halfway mark, as this time around in heat number four. Much room to look around while you're out there in this one is 0 2. Lloyd Garnett still holds on to that lead. In front of Carl Green, Paul Lewis, Todd Turner, and Aaron Lewis, the front five cars you can cover with that proverbial blanket. Nobody wanting to break out and see who can make a move. Should be interesting as the laps wind down. Here they get ready to come around to start the final five laps. Steve Pettipaw holds up that big head with five laps to go. Number 70, Carl Green. 62, Paul Lewis, 09. Todd Turner takes a look to the outside. That door gets closed as they come out of turn four. Going back into turns one and two, it's still 0 2. Lloyd Garnett holds on to that one car lead as they go back into turns three and four. Number 70, Carl Green is 62, Paul Lewis. 09, Todd Turner, and number 30, Aaron Lewis. At front five, and remember, three cars make it automatically into the first of the twin 100s, and there's the sign, two laps to go. And so far, they're all saying that, that five car train as they go out of turn two and down the back shoot. flag out if anybody's going to make a move it's going to be in this lap as 0-2 Lloyd Garnett holds on in front of number 70 Carl Green 62 Paul Lewis and 0-9 Todd Turner a battle for that final qualifying spot in this heat followed by number 30 Aaron Lewis 29 Bobby Fraser 59 Doug Hill and 47 Ken Bennett of 0-2 cars takes the checker flag followed by number 70 Carl Lewis and 62 Paul Lewis as Carl Green, I should say, and Paul Lewis are second and third. And then we're followed by Todd Turner, Aaron Lewis, Bob Fraser, Doug Hill, and 47, Ken Biddington. Godfrey, 28, is Bob DeWolf, and number 89 car is Jimmy Duke. Title to the match.
ahead of time. You know it when they take that green flag down the front stretch. As number 22, Al Selgo, trying to go for the early lead in front of number 12, Frankie Fraser, and he pulls it off coming out of turn two. Roger Sears will be up into third, followed by 24, Joel Carson. Al Snowgrove, number 12, Frank Frazier, and 13, Roger Sears. And 24, Joel Parsons, coming in the front four. Here comes 89, Jimmy Duke at 41, Pat Rogers as well. Now it's Frank Frazier looking to the inside. They get cozy going into turn two. Giving each other a little bit of a crow massage as they go back into turn number three. Number 12, Frank Frazier takes over the lead as they come out of that turn, followed by Al Snellgrove and Roger Sears. 24 now in a battle out there for fourth spot with Jimmy Duke, that's Joel Parsons, 41, Pat Rogers in the top six. Here's your leader, number 12, Frank Frazier. Followed by number 22, Al Snellgrove and number 13, Roger Sears. Out of turn two down the back chute now is Frank Frazier starting to open up just a little bit of a lead. Now Rose seems to gain in the turn. Number 12, Frank Frazier. Now with a six-pack lead as number 22, Al Snowgrove, gets his mirror filled up with number 13, Roger Sears, as they come out of that turn four and down the front stretch. 89, Jimmy Duke moving up into fourth. Coming with him, the 41 car, Pat Rogers, as it looks like number 24, Joel Parsons, got caught in the shuffle on the outside. Frank Frazier in the middle of the back stretch with the leaders are coming to the halfway mark this time around and each number five. And at the half is number 12 driving the Donnie Collect car Frank Frazier followed by Al Snowgrove and Roger Sears in that battle for second and third followed by number 89 Jim Duke 41 is Pat Rogers 24 Joel Parsons 28 Bob DeWolf and number eight John Godfrey. Followed by number 13 in third spot there, Roger Sears. 
That number 12 car here tonight with special thanks to the Countryside Convenience Store. Owned by Donnie Collette out of Notre Dame, driven by Frank Fraser tonight, and also sponsored by Clean All Mobile Wash, DuPont for Sign Works, MR Appraisals, Pennzoil, and our Gerard, and B&M Rockers. Let's hear for number 12, Frank Fraser.
if you had enough booze for all that mix, hmm. <laughs> Let's hear it for the next car. He's in line, they went fine at this season as well from River Glade, sponsored by the Crystal Palace. Custom truck painting, Ross Zotto, Salvage, Charles Metro, Greco Pizza, Hanson Signs, and Action Auto Glass, number 66, Kenny Crossway. An old friend of mine from down True Away. I've known him a long time. An 81 Pontiac Le Mans, owned by Larry Dickey, sponsored by Troy Toyota, APM, Midas, the Eddie Group, and Top Signs, the chair for number 70, Carl Green. The number seven car says, I'm not a year older than 39, believe me. From Moncton, a 91 Olds Cutlass, sponsored by Rooney's Auto Sales, Speedy Auto Glass, and a member of the Charters Racing Team, number seven, Rapid Robert Charters. <laughs> number 25, a young rookie doing real fine this season here at Riverglade Speedway and his Pontiac Le Mans, sponsored by Mullins Gas Fire and Variety, Mullins Excavating Toys for Big Boys, and Eldon Signs, number 25, Ian Mullins. Number 87, every day a gray here for Donnie. From Moncton, uh, 94 Lumina, sponsored by Dirk Deer, Excavating, Auto Body Craft, and Barley Sprinklers. Let's hear it for number 87, Donnie Pond. The number 12 car is owned by Donnie Collette. That Buick Regal out of Notre Dame is sponsored by Clean All, Mobile Wash, DuPont Sign Works, Seminar Appraisals, Pennzoil, and Art Gerard, and B&M Rockers. And here tonight, courtesy of the fine folks at Countryside Convenience Store, the number 12 car, driven by the man who invented mustard for all your hot dogs, Frank Fraser. The 02 car hails from up Havelock Bay, the only Ford in the field, and he's looking to revenge. That's right for the man sponsored by Scrappy's Auto Body, the Smurf, number 02, Lloyd Garnett. Driving the first 100, the number two car from Moncton to the Monte Carlo. Sponsored by the Sign Shop, Dennis Brothers Plumbing and Heating, Maritime Engine Tech, Auto Tech, and Tantramar Motors. Number two, Danny Brown. We move up into the second row. Car from Salisbury. That 84 Monte Carlo, sponsored by Valencia Sun Roofing and Siding, Hillcrest Towing, Dad, Ideal. Buffer Moncton, BB. Commerce, Carl's Metro, Riverglade Market, the Dairy Depot at Apple, Auto Glass, the man in second place in the points this season here at Riverglade Speedway, number 85, Ken McKenzie. The next car in the second row, starting in third place in the first 100 from Moncton. This Malibu took an awful look here on the wall back early in the season. He's sponsored by Mullins Excavating, DW Carter Electric, and Regional Construction. Let's hear it for number 55. Let the steering wheel remain, Dave Mullins. Number 19 car. This man is trying for the four feet here at Riverglade Speedway this season in points. A Buick Rigger from Salisbury, sponsored by Maritime Engine Deck, Hanson Signs, Layton's Auto Body, Miramont Exhaust, Gary Ward Photography, Airtel, Dom Tire Packaging, and Pennzoil. Let's hear it for number 19, Timmy Rogers. And your fastest qualifier tonight with a time of 17.44 seconds. Hales out of Moncton and an 89 Pontiac Grand Dam, sponsored by Ripley's Auto Sales and a member of the Charters Racing Team. Your fastest qualifier, number 6, Terry Charters. for the first 100 tonight. Man who cut his teeth in racing here on this track and has been around racing for many years in the Moncton area. Let's hear it for Caleb Dunn. The official flag man for tonight's race, of course, will be Kenny Place, assisted by Stephen Bettypaw. Uh, all these drivers that has um, qualified for this Twin 100 tonight, the Homestead Restaurant uh, race. I'd like to welcome all the fans here to Riverglade Speedway for our Mile Be My last international. Um, and also at this time, we'll move along quickly. 
Um, I just uh, mainly want to say we have sold Speedway. Pat Rogers lined up at the back of the pack is lining up for his last race to run in a stock car. He's going to be our new promoter to run a couple of races after this, uh, after our season is over this year and take over starting the next season in May. So I say uh, Pat will need all the support you can give him and uh, good luck to him and thank you very much for coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, before you go away, Ernie, 30 years is a long time, and I've known this gentleman for about 26 years of it, and the racing family that has maintained a quality of racing the way they've done it, I think we all should stand up and give the McLeans, Ernie and Winona McLean, a hell of a hand. begun for the first of the twin 100s brought to you by the homestead restaurant in riverview